and today I want to introduce my favorite Korean tits. Korean tits. I'm not gonna blow your mind. If you're into Korean beauty, you probably know about these. Out of all the Korean tints I tried, and especially out of the affordable ones, I mean, listen, I don't have a lot of money, so I don't go above the 20,000 range. Never, ever. So these ones are all under 10 bucks, and they're so nice. So nice. Anyways, I mean, it's not like it's any secret anyways, because it's obviously in the title. But I'm gonna be talking about the Peripera tint, and I also have a different version. So first into the different types of Peripera inks. Um, as far as I know, there's four. There's the original one, then there's the ink velvets, and then they have airy ink velvets, which is the third one, and the fourth one is the newest one, I think, which is the cloud ink tints. I don't know. I, I get the three of them, the first three, but the cloud one I'm really confused about. I haven't tried it because when I left Korea, um, they didn't have those yet. So those are the newest ones and I haven't tried them at all. The original ones, they're good. If you like the colors, they're good. But for me, the colors are super, super basic. So I don't have those. But I had to stop filming because I got my Black Friday order from Boohoo. Boohoo. All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I smell the regret from Black Friday. Anyways, okay, back to the video. So, what was I talking about? The original ones, they're good. If you like the colors, they're just, I feel like formula-wise, they're more basic tints, but they're still good, they're good. If you like the colors. Then the Cloud Velvet inks. Cloud Velvet? Are they Cloud, cloud Velvet? Ink the Cloud Velvet. You get what I mean, the Cloud ones. Um, those I haven't swatched. Like I said, I haven't, when I left Korea, they were already Bye-bye. <laughs> no, not bye-bye. <laughs> they hadn't said hi-hi. <laughs> that was so weird. From the swatches that I've seen online, they seem similar to Perry's Ink Velvet, but I'm not sure. This one, um, the Perry Ink Velvet. The colors are really good. I love the colors, but unfortunately for me personally, they don't work out. I think, I don't know if the formula is consistent because I only bought this one. I tried it out. I love the color, so I still wear it, but overall it didn't work out for me. So I'm just gonna try applying it so you can see. These ones smell awesome though, compared to the those ones. At first they look really good. I don't know how it looks on camera, but at first they look really nice. So even if you tried it on at store, I feel like you'd buy them. But as the time goes on, they just kind of bunch up. That's the only thing. After a time, they just punch up but they don't look cute, they just do not look cute, especially this color, maybe it's only this color, I have it in a oh, gray, they have the date on it. On these I have to give a pass, I'm sorry, but maybe it's only my lips, only, maybe only my lips are weird as fuck. As you know I did say that these are my favorite tints, and specifically it's these ones, the Airy Ink Velvets, these ones are amazing. I'm gonna start actually with the newer collection. Which again, I left Korea and then they released their more natural, more autumn kind of shades. So the new ones is 7 and 8. So I'm gonna just start with 7. So you can see. Shit, my lips are stained. Well, whatever. I don't think they look pretty once you like apply concealer. So I usually don't do that. So this is number 7 from the. What are you called? From the Airy Ink Velvet. Actually, I think the color, this color is similar to the previous one I showed, except that one is more like bam, opaque and brighter, more summery. So this is just more natural, natural. One different thing about the new ones, the newer colors and the older ones is the scent. The scent is different. They still taste kind of weird though. I don't know why. The, the thing I love about these is that they feel so light and so velvety smooth, it's just like Nice. Like my real lips don't feel that nice <laughs> Even with a lip balm, my real lips don't feel that nice And even if I do have dry lips, like these ones just look so nice on dry lips I mean, as good as a lipstick or lip product can look on dry lips, you know The next one I have is number 8 Like I love their newest colors, like I wish I could buy all of them But some of them look quite similar, so I didn't bother 
Sorry, it just got super, super yellow <laughs> for some reason. I'm sorry. These are the, you know, the natural, natural shades. My lips, but better shades, and I love them. I love them. I'm so happy that they released this range of these type of colors because I wanted to buy more of uh, this specific formula, the Airy Ink Velvet, but the colors just were kind of meh. The previous ones were just, you know, the oranges, the reds. The formula was bomb, but the colors were just meh. But these ones are awesome. And then the other two I have are from the previous collection. Also the price of these, I didn't mention it. So I think I got these on on online for like five five bucks something. So pretty similar to the Korean prices, except in Korea sometimes you can get like one plus one, you know, the beauty of Korea. That we cannot get overseas. Then I'm gonna go with five. Well that just made my lips look horrible. <laughs> But, okay, where did you go? Color number five. Actually, maybe this one is more similar to that. This color I showed from Ink Velvet. I mean, this one's really, really bright. I guess not that similar, huh? <laughs> on the swatches, it doesn't look that similar, but I feel like on the lips, this one's quite... Oh, shoot. Ooh, the concealer. I'd say this is quite similar. I love how they make your skin just like look so bright and nice and not sick. Also this one, okay, the thing I noticed about this color, I haven't tried the other ones for long enough, that it kind of went away faster. Obviously the brighter shades like the reds and the pinks and the oranges, they're gonna last on your lips longer. Like the thing about these ones, the Airy Ink Velvet, you can reapply them and it's gonna look fine. The problem I have is with the uh, Ink velvet, they just look quite not that great after you reapply them. And also it's getting quite dark. Okay, so the last color I have left is number five, which is the five no three. Sorry. Color number three. And why I'm applying this last is obviously it's the brightest shade. But this thing stained. This is just like a true red. So these are all the colors I have. I keep saying they're nice, 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 but these really are nice. And for all the tints I tried and create, these are my favorite and also they're very affordable. So give these a try if you still somehow haven't. Shame on you, but you're forgiven. So just try these out and yeah, thank you for watching. And that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.